shooting uh, pretty much at this time straight north. Well done, guys. But we got it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, where is this? This this is going to be. It's going to hit the Newcastle Casino. Oh wow! Look at this thing. You, you folks in the Newcastle Casino, if you're watching us, or the folks that are in charge of Newcastle Casino, man, you got to get them in that safe area now, because it is right. It's a half a mile west of the Newcastle Casino right now, and it's going to exactly hit right at the junction of the Newcastle wow. Highway and Interstate 44. Look at that thing. Um, it, it's a half a mile west of there right now, and it is, it is dead center line track on the Newcastle Casino. At this point, it's either going to be within about... Uh, wow, it's really getting better, guys. Yes. It's getting really good. Yeah, it, there it is. It, it's a quarter mile west of I-44 right now. Wow. Large stovepipe tornado on the ground. You see, look at the inflow here. The inflow clouds, very organized, extremely organized. To our west. All right, we're continuing to watch as it just continues to get wider, James. Uh, it's looking like it's from our vantage point, it's getting a little bit more rain wrapped, but to be honest with you, I think it's almost transforming into uh, now almost like a wedge type tornado. The uh, RFD, the rear flank downdraft, is starting to maybe wrap some rain around the front edge of this tornado, so we may lose our vantage point here uh, within the next few minutes as more rain continues to wrap in. Very strong inflow. I don't know if you can hear the wind through my phone. The air has just, the inflow has just increased probably about 10 to 15 miles from what we have seen earlier. So the air is just being sucked into this storm, and it just looks like it's getting more violent as we have progressed here over the last uh, five minutes or so. It just continues to grow, James. This is a very violent rotating. We're getting violent rotating uh, tornado. We've got uh, rain curtains now wrapping around the tornado itself. You can literally watch them wrap around the very wide. Uh, I'd say I, I'd probably go half mile wide right now on this uh, extremely violent tornado.
Yeah, we've still got a great visual on this and it might be showing up a little bit better now on my Ustream because I'm looking at the uh, video if you want to try to pull that up, if you can still see it. Uh, now there's just enough clearing. It's still wrapping in rain, but we ju just enough clearing. Still a very large and violent wedge tornado on the ground and unbelievable rising motions on the outer edge of the funnel. We're getting unbelievable rising motions in this tornado. I can definitely tell it's getting a little closer to us. I'm definitely seeing more motion uh, within the tornado. We are still at a safe distance here. It's off uh, to our north and to our west. So it looks like it's going to pass to our north, but in just violent motion uh, in around this tornado. Not only just the rotation around it, but James on the on the outer edges of the funnel extreme at some of the I've chased tornadoes across Oklahoma for many years and this is some of the most violent rotation I've ever seen James this is a violent and devastating tornado James, this is uh, uh, just a heart-wrenching moment right now. Uh, it's getting close enough now. We are being, we're able to really see the debris flying around this tornado. Uh, just pieces of homes uh, just being thrown and, and wrapped through the air. And it, it really shows right now no signs of weakening. This is just a, a devastating event here on the south side of Oklahoma City. Uh, extremely violent motion still with this tornado. I'm looking again, we've got still a clear visual of the funnel itself and not only, as I mentioned before, the, the, the rapid rotation around the tornado itself, but the rapid vertical motion uh, around the funnel and a rain wrapping now again around the funnel. It just, we continue to get rain cur curtains to wrapping around the tornado itself. Uh, it looks like it's going to pass to our north. I would say right now we are probably a couple miles away uh, from our vantage point. It is, uh, th this, this, this is, this is a rough one, James. This is a, uh, a devastating event we're watching here uh, before our eyes. And uh, I, if anybody is uh, in the path of this tornado, right now is the time to take cover. Do not wait.
we are closer than what it looks on the Ustream video and still extreme violent rotation. Debris continues to fly in and around the circulation and, and still, as mentioned, James, this thing is showing no signs of weakening. Very organized. Uh, the, the wall cloud that is that this has, tornado has formed out of is still extremely organized, uh, showing no signs at all of weakening. I just, oh, we can start to hear, you can hear it now, James. You can really hear the roar of the tornado now. Unbelievable. This violent tornado. My goodness, anybody, any, anybody in the path of this needs to take cover. Pieces of homes just continue to be thrown. Now, I mean, hundreds of feet in the air. Just saw a piece of, uh, uh, had, had to be someone's house just flying hundreds of feet into the air. Unbelievable. The roar, James, it is, it's nothing like I've ever heard. And like I said, I've been chasing tornadoes for many years. And, and uh, this, is, this is one of the most violent I have ever witnessed. Still have a... We, 